Today, we are going to be reacting to the new DLC for Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. If you fancy picking up the DLC, it's going to set you back around $40. That's roughly two-thirds of the price of the RPG itself. So the trailer gives us hope we'll get a good content match. One big question of the expansion is, will we get a new map? As we've been able to clearly see different areas in the trailer, or perhaps there will be a different era of the lands between with new content woven in, be it time travel or other some lore nugget. Hidetaka Miyazaki is doing the media rounds to share information on Elden Ring as we speak for the big DLC release. He says, Shadow of the Erdtree is introducing a whole new map called the Land of Shadow, and you can expect it to be as big as Limgrave at least. He says it's a brand new map separate from the lands between. It is a land that is overshadowed by the particular shadows of the Erdtree as opposed to the Erdtree in the lands between. And it takes place again on an entirely separate, physically separate map. So it involves a warp of sorts to get there in terms of setting and things which i think we're all curious about it technically occupies the same space as the lands between in the same universe but due to something story related that we won't reveal today this has become disconnected now i want everybody to put on your surprise face because there is a poisonous swamp in the land of shadow i know i couldn't believe it either and i'm not excited for it i can't tell you how many times those wretched dogs and the poison ruined my day but what are you gonna do as we know, from software loves covering its players in poisonous mud, is what it is. I've done it. So if you fancy a challenge, or whether or not you're feeling invincible at level 300, like some of you, or you do challenge runs, bow only, no armor, no weapons, Miyazaki says the Shadow of the Earth Tree contains optional bosses that are on the same level as Melania, which is frightening to say the least. And only the most difficult boss in the game. So I think this will be a real treat if you're an Elden Rings fan. I'm also wondering if that $40 price matches the scope of the content one to one. That is to say, will the Shadow of the Erd Tree deliver on 66% more than Elden Ring? 80%, 120%? We can only wait and see. Peggy 16. Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Bro, I miss it already. I wish I could go back and play this game again for the the first time and really enjoyed again. That forsaken place. Blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. <laughs> what the hell? That boss looks sick. Mother, wouldst thou be sick, dude? One so bereft of light. I presume you, too, are keen to know. That's sick. Just what kind of Mikkel is doing here. I think Ghost of Shishima vibes. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. The new grace of restless flesh. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. It kind of gives me like Lord of the Rings vibe a little bit. It's 
so sick, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, we have to wait all the way till June. Dang. It'll be worth the wait. They always do a great job. See what some of the comments are saying. Did the rune bear magic 205 I saw third that the rune bears and dragons were related somehow. That would be crazy. At first glance, I thought this boss was grafted like Godric, but then I noticed it's actually two people. One hunched over the other, one standing on their back. Yeah, some of those bosses looked insane. Still not sure if the top one is an omen or if the lion head has crucible horns. I'm almost certain this was inspired by Chinese lion dancers. The way the mouth opens is eerily similar. The interesting about this trailer is that from soft most likely left the best new area dungeon boss out of the video. Oh, absolutely. We're only seeing like some of like because I don't even think we saw Melania when the game first came out when it dropped its first trailer. So that was kind of like an Easter egg boss in a sorts until everybody started figuring it out. So I'm so pumped for this, guys. I'm so excited. I'll definitely play this. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe.